day hey everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my car um so today basically i've just cleaned my car well i've cleaned the inside not the outside i'm really like bad at cleaning the outside of my car i just find it so hard i don't know if it's because i'm small or what but i just can't clean the outside of my car properly without like someone else helping me huh um so i've cleaned the inside of my car um, and I thought I'd just do like an updated kind of like car tour for you guys I know you guys like love seeing my car and I used to always do like good drive with me's and stuff I am gonna do some more drive with me's coming soon um, But obviously like playlist ones always get copyrighted and I'm not really sure what other ones to do kind of thing um, But yeah, I thought why are my lights on? You know, um, but yeah I'm gonna do a car tour for you guys. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna show you like what's in my car at the moment. I also asked on Instagram for some questions about my car because people always have questions about my car and I never really answer them because it's a bit like random answering them on Instagram. Um, so I thought I'd include them in like a car video um, because I know a lot of people have questions about cars. I had questions about cars like when I first like was learning to drive and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna start off by showing you like the inside of my car. I know you've probably seen it already. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what my car is and all that jazz and then I'll show you the inside I'll also give you like a quick overview of the outside, but it does look tragic at the moment um, Yeah, it's very bad. So basically my car is a Fiat 500 Sport It's a 66 plate car. I ordered it in like October 2016 I didn't get it until January 2017 because they mucked up my order badly um, Basically, they almost ordered me the wrong car. This is a custom-made car just so you know. I pay for it myself, so before you wanna come at me saying my dad pays for it, no, I pay for it myself. Custom made, so I chose the interior, I chose the wheels, I chose this little window thing up here. Um, what else did I choose? I can't remember what else I chose. I'm pretty sure that's my cows. I don't know. Basically, I designed the car myself. Um, yeah, so I've had it for just over two years now. I love it so much. I know people have like an opinion of like Fiat 500s, Glee. This car is amazing to drive. I love it so much. Um, it's really easy to drive. It's really easy to park. Um, I have no complaints about it. And the only complaint I do have is that I wouldn't go to the dealership that I got it from because they messed up my order. Oh, there's my mum. Messed up my order very, very badly. Almost ordered me the wrong car. And the guy that sold me the car got sacked and stuff. It was all such a mess. And they kept telling me, oh yeah, your car's going to arrive next week. And it literally didn't arrive until January when it was supposed to arrive in like October, November time didn't arrive till january and it was very very frustrating um but they did make it up to me they got me like um mats like a massive bunch of flowers and like a free service for the first year and stuff so yeah um but still i wouldn't really recommend getting a car from there it's a sport so it's a 0.9 twin air turbo engine it doesn't really mean much to me i don't really know why i got a sport one i just wanted to be a bit more fancy i guess <laughs> i don't know um but yeah it's a fiat 500 sport 0.9 twin air turbo engine i don't really drive it on sport a lot of the time because it wastes more petrol and i'm just not really about the petrol life i'm gonna show you around the inside of my car as i said i just cleaned the inside it looks very nice in here um, my steering wheel however is still full of foundation i put a picture up on instagram the other day of me in my car and all i got was oh my god your steering wheel is disgusting i know um i just don't really have something to get it off because i use like polish and stuff but it doesn't get rid of it i need to get something to proper get it off um so it still looks a bit messy so it's about that but i wear makeup it gets everywhere i don't even know how it gets everywhere i don't even apply foundation with my hands so i don't know um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe down below for more um and yeah follow me on instagram let's get on to the car tour so these are my keys pretty basic i've got like a big pom-pom on it just so i don't lose it um so yeah i'm just gonna put them in the ignition because you know basically yeah, this is a view from where i sit uh it's a sport the steering wheel has like a straight bit on the bottom love that um yeah basically you just got like the sound controls on here um the siri kind of thing and then the mute button and then to answer phone calls put them down and then to change songs this is so so helpful i didn't have this in my first car but honestly this is so helpful i would not get a car without this now <laughs> um and yeah basically i'm gonna turn the ignition on because um i want you to see this bit here this is probably like my favorite bit of the car so ooh. so yeah it shows you exactly how fast you're driving and i need this so much because i literally always speed by accident oh um but yeah 
it just basically tells you how fast you're going it's got a little picture of a fiat down there that should be black because my car's black <laughs> lol uh, i don't really know what the point of that is it doesn't move or anything it just like stays there i think it helps you keep in line with the road maybe i'm not too sure um, but yeah, you've got a little Fiat there, which is cute. I just think this whole thing is really, really pretty. Um, and as I said, this is a Fiat 400 Sport. So I've got a Sport button over here. And if you click it, it changes to Sport. It all goes italic. I don't really know why. Everything goes italic. Um, but yeah, I sometimes drive on Sport. Not a lot. It depends. Like, if I get really angry at someone on the road, I'll put it into Sport mode. But other than that, I don't really drive on Sport mode. Um, but yeah, basically, you've just got everything you need there on the dashboard. Um, and yeah, I just really really love this bit. I think it's very very pretty. Obviously, I've got my stereo here Which also I love so much. It's like the perfect size. It's touchscreen. So you can just do everything on here really Oh, was I listening to Megatron? Oh, that wasn't very PG. Anyway, yeah, this is my stereo. I love it a lot. I think it's so pretty I love the silver bit around the edge um, and yeah, you've just got like media on there phones You can connect your phone um, you connect, I don't really know what that is, audio, settings, trip, and stuff like that. Um, I just think it's a really, really good stereo. And um, then you can turn it off as well, so bye. Um, yeah, basically here you've just got the sport button, which I just showed you. Um, the hazard warning lights, fog lights. Oh, I'm so good at this now. Um, and then you can just like change the temperature and stuff. Um, and all that and then the gear stick is here it's got six gears it's literally so good i love having six gears um and the window buttons are here everyone that comes in my car gets so confused they go to open the window and obviously you can't open the window there um so yeah the window buttons are here but i really really like that it's just something a bit different coming down here <laughs> we've just got my starbucks cup love this starbucks cup a lot as you know i'm always in starbucks love starbucks and i also have a starbucks gift card here lovely and um, then my hairbrush because I was just brushing my hair. Um, and then down here, you've got the aux and the USB. What I'm going to say is that this is an awful, awful place to put this. Um, they don't actually work anymore. I think I must have like spilled a drink or something down there because they don't work. It's really, really annoying. I should probably fix it. Um, but yeah, at the moment, they both don't work. So I'm using this. So I've literally just plugged my thing into that i don't know what it's called yeah i don't really know what else there's two more cup holders here okay my seats are literally my favorite thing about the car um so they're red with like a really light blue stripe on them they're leather um and yeah they're just very very beautiful i do love my seats a lot um and then yeah that is basically just the back um and then we're back to the front really oh should i show you under here okay <laughs> This glove compartment is full of such rubbish. I went in here the other day and I was like, oh my god. I've kept it like this because I'm going to keep it like realistic and stuff. So, <laughs> so in here I've got uh, a cigarette. Oh my god, that is so disgusting. <gasps> oh no, it's stuck to chewing. Oh my god, that is so bad. Okay, a cigarette which is now stuck to chewing gum on a festival place car parking ticket. I've got a couple of pairs of glasses in here. Um, we've got some <laughs> a sheet about like, contraception. So if anyone wants to know about contraception, just come to my car. Um, what else have I got? Oh, literally just like, a load of random sources, um, sprays and stuff, hooped earrings. Literally my car is like, what is that? Is that a pen? I don't know, I've got a pen in here. Crown Plaza, who went to Crown Plaza? Not me. My car is full of a load of rubbish. If you need anything, just come to my car. Also, I get so many questions about the stand that I use in my drive with me's. This was from Amazon. It just sticks on your dashboard, but it comes off really easily. Um, as you can tell, it used to be there. <laughs> um, but I'll link it down below because I know so many of you guys want to buy one. So yeah, that is basically just like a little tour of my car. As I said, I asked on Instagram for some questions, so I will answer some now. Um, as I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do because I'm literally always on Instagram. So yes. Did you pass both your theory and driving test first time? Yes, I did. I passed them both first time. I don't really know how, but yeah, I was both first and first. What's your driving experience? So, I started driving when I was 17. I started on my 17th birthday, and I did two-hour lessons once a week, and I passed in January 2015. So, I started in 2014, passed my test in January 2015. Um, to begin with, I was such a bad driver, like, I was really unconfident with it. Um, I learned to drive in, like, quite a big, like, Astra, I think it was. I can't remember what car he had. Yeah, it was a diesel as well, so it was so much different to a petrol car. And at first, I hated driving, like, I didn't really like going to lessons and stuff. I had such a good instructor, like, he was so patient, so good. I'd highly recommend him if you're in the Basingstoke area. I don't even know if he still does driving, um, lessons. I guess he does. If he does, I'll put him down below. Um, but yeah, he was so nice, so calm. Both me and my brother had him, um, 
so yeah i can't even believe that i passed both my theory and practical first time because i'm really not good at like tests and stuff and i'm quite an anxious person um but when it comes to driving i'm not really anxious at all it's really really weird um but yeah past first time had a good experience to be fair so when i was actually learning i did used to go out with my dad sometimes um just like practicing um so this wasn't my first car my first car was a ford ka which was very very cute it was like one of the newer styled ones it wasn't like the old bubble kind of one um but yeah my dad used to take me out sometimes and that wasn't great we went out once and i literally told him to fuck off and i got out of the car um so yeah that wasn't great i didn't really go out with my dad much after that but my mum did take me out and i found it better going out with my mum um so yeah i'm really lucky that i got to have a car while i was learning so i got to practice and stuff um so if you can do that that is a really good thing to do but uh obviously i know that everyone doesn't really have the privilege of doing that so yeah what car would you recommend for a first car you inspired me to start my youtube that's so cute i'll have to check out your youtube um i'd probably recommend like a fiat 500 is good for a first car i probably wouldn't get a newish one i'd go for like an old car i also got a question about would you um recommend getting like a car in finance for a first car or buying one outright personally i would buy one outright because my first car the wheels were like so scuffed i literally curved it so much the wheels and the alloys were absolutely wrecked and i'd be really really upset if i did it to like a new car like this car i waited like two years until i got like a brand new car and and I wanted to make sure like, I was fully confident with driving and stuff before I got a brand new car. Mileage on your car. Let's have a look. 18,605. So I got this in January 2017. So two and a half years, 18,000 miles. That's all right, I guess. Um, is your car light on fuel? I'm guessing that means is it good on fuel? I would say it is very, very good on fuel. Um, it takes about 35 pounds to fill it up. And I fill it up probably about once every one to two weeks it depends how much i drive it but um yeah it's good on fuel but if you were driving on the sport mode i'm pretty sure it would go like quicker um but yeah oh yeah so i was going to talk about like if i've had any like problems with this car so basically this car has actually broken down twice within the past six months to be fair it's probably my fault so the first time it's literally such a palaver it was my first day back at my job um i got in the car and the engine light came on and the engine just cut out and I was like, out of all days, this is just a brilliant day for it to happen. Um, and it's my fault because I didn't get it serviced when I was supposed to get it serviced. So the RAC came out and they actually changed like the ignition coil or something. Something irrelevant. I didn't know what an ignition coil was. But at the time I was like, yeah, just fix my car, please. So they changed the ignition coil. But then the next day the car broke down again. And at this point I was literally fuming. Like I was just back into a job um, and I was like, this looks so bad. Like my car keeps breaking down, but it's like not my fault. Um, so I called the RAC up again fuming my face off But then I realized that Fiat have their own like roadside recovery kind of thing. So I called them out and um, I think they told me I Remember yeah, so they got it started for me But they just got it started and they're like, oh there we go And we'd recommend taking it to like the Fiat garage. So I was like, okay, you're not gonna tell me what's wrong with it then um, So I took it to the Fiat garage after literally an argument because they wouldn't take the car in They said that they had to come and recover it um or something they, they wouldn't just let me drive it in they said that I, they had to recover it so i was like fine recover it but recover it from my work because i don't have time to mess around right now um so yeah they recovered it from my work they took it in and they found out that my car had no oil i was like how did this guy from the rac not notice that my car had no oil and instead changed an ignition coil which was costing me a hundred pounds like did i need a new ignition coil I don't even know probably not i swear these people just take advantage because i was a girl and at this point as well my dad was in hospital so it's not like i could have been like, oh dad come and look at my car because he couldn't that's the first time it broke down then a few weeks ago the car went all funny again um and it was due to the oil again i think um because my dad topped up the oil and it was fine um but it's been serviced and they said that it was like an immaculate car so i'm not really too sure what's happened there um, and i hope that my car isn't losing oil or anything i don't know i guess we'll find out what was going to be our next car um i really want a mercedes my brother has a nice mercedes it's next to my car now definitely a mercedes um tips on removing dog hair and sand can never get it out of mine do you know what in this car i literally don't really let my dogs in here and if i do let my dogs in here they sit on a towel and they're not getting off the towel i just can't be dealing with that like in my old car i used to take them like in my car and stuff and there were so many dog hairs and they are so difficult to get rid of um i think just like a hoover like i don't really know what else you can do then hoover them out but yeah i just would not have them in this car again can't deal with that see all of the questions 
that I got about my car. Now, I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been like informative and stuff. If you've got any more questions about my car, please do leave them down below because I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe for more videos. Let's get me to 50,000 subscribers. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another brand new video. Bye, guys.